All right, so in this video, it should be fairly quick, but we're just gonna take a look at dispersion. And so this is a specific application of refraction. So we use refraction to split white light up into its different colors. So let's turn on our light box and actually see that in action. So what we've got is, you see at this first boundary, we've got light refracting towards the normal, exactly like we'd expect, because we've gone from low refractive index in air into high refractive index in glass. And then on the opposite boundary here, we've got exactly the opposite. So light is bending away from the normal um, because again, we're going from high now into low. The interesting thing though, is you'll notice it's starting to split up into its different colors. So let's extend that a little bit. So you'll see a rainbow starting to form. So let's try and look a little bit closer in. And I'll hold up a screen so you can actually see that. So you can see we've got a rainbow splitting here. So Key things to note is that on this side, it is red, and on this side, it is violet. Okay, so we're gonna draw that in a diagram in a second, but that's an observation we make. So red is here, violet is over here, but in between them, we've got the whole spectrum. And this is a really important experiment that Isaac Newton did. So he essentially used this to show that actually white light is made up of all of the different colors of the spectrum. And he actually used, then used a second prism to combine them all back together to show that you could take all the colors and combine them together to make white, which is actually one of the critical things he did. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a quick sketch so we know the key things that we are seeing from this experiment here. So let's just sketch around there. So our white light comes along here. So let's just sketch where the ray goes. And then I'm gonna sketch sort of where the middle of our light goes and then we'll label our diagram. So let's get rid of um, the light box uh, thing. So in coming in here, so this is our white light going in here. Let's, as we always do with optics, draw our normal in. So the light goes along here and this is where it exits. And then the middle of our rainbow goes along here. And we saw that red goes here. And violet goes along here. So let's have a look at some key observations that we should um, know about this. Okay. So first thing is, we can tell this is refraction because it's behaving exactly as we expect light to do. So the white light bends towards the normal at the first boundary because it's going from low refractive index into high refractive index, pretty standard. Second boundary, you can see it's bending away from the normal because it's going from high refractive index into low. So that again, standard refraction. So the key thing is that red has a smaller angle of refraction than violet. So the angle of refraction for red, so R for red, is smaller than the angle of refraction for violet there. So that's what, what we have going on here. So let's actually get that onto screen. So this is our observation and what this actually tells us, and we're not gonna go into why it is, but what this actually tells us is that red actually travels faster in glass than violet light does. So they both travel at the same speed if they're in a vacuum or in air, but actually once we get into denser materials, things with a higher refractive index, red light, so light with a longer wavelength, travels faster than light with a shorter. And that's why we're getting this splitting here, because effectively glass has a different refractive index for red than it does for violet. And that's what we can see happening here, but we need our prism to actually show this to us and give us this splitting of light.